So, what is recreational therapy? Recreational therapists use interventions to help maintain or improve a patient's physical, social, or emotional well-being. But why? What's the importance? These therapists can help reduce depression, stress, and anxiety, recover basic physical and mental abilities, build confidence, and help social effectiveness. Examples of interventions include arts and crafts, sports, meditation, and animal therapy. These are all ways therapists can help connect and work with their clients. What is the nature of our professional helping relationship? A helping professional relationship can seem like a friendship, but it is not. Don't get it confused. A client simply comes for help, receives help, and leaves with no mutuality. During this, the focus is solely on the client. There are a few characteristics that helping professionals have, but why are they important? They have the ability to empower clients and do this by gaining trust and collaboration to help clients build internal strengths and confidence in themselves. They are also aware of themselves and their values. By doing this, professionals can protect against the tendency to project their values on their clients. Example, helping children with disabilities be able to perform to their full potential and play sports like any other kid. Beep Kickball was designed for kids with visual impairment to be able to hear the ball instead of see it and still be able to play. What even is the importance of creating our therapeutic relationship? A therapeutic relationship is a trusting relationship between the therapist and the client. By using these key components above to ensure that you and the client are on the same page and committed to the relationship. Why is it important? So both parties may fully express thought and feelings and work to achieve optimal levels of independent functions and well-being. But just think, in the end, even after all of this hard work, you could become burnt out. Don't think it's because you're not good at your job. In fact, studies show most people that become burnt out are good at their jobs and spend most of their time working. But how could you avoid it? Being burnt out is defined as having progressive loss of idealism, energy, purpose, and concern as a result of conditions of work. Ways you can avoid it, take time off when needed, get your own personal therapist, have a healthy work-life balance, and increase your physical activity. In the end, we want to be able to empower others to achieve their goals.